Both ladies touch him up in the center. You see a strong teeth offered from Madison with him. Easy kills with him, throwing some resistance here. Kills through throwing hard at the head right now. Yes, Strong yes. high kick right there from Madison Wickham and then mixes it back up with the body kick. But see, here's a, where that experience factor counts. You're seeing Wickham move at angles, not just going straight in. When you're seeing Kilser, she's only going straight in, and that's what's causing her problems. Certainly. And we saw a little bit of a unique angle to that overhand that Wickham just threw, yeah. but it was beautiful. You know, she you could tell that she wanted to create that outside angle and come from the high side. She turned the knuckles over beautifully to land that square across the temple. Yeah, and that's just what comes with experience, you know, that's the kind of stuff you start seeing. Certainly. And she's using that teep as a nice range finder and keeping the distance to fight where she wants to fight. Yeah, and as soon as Kelsa breaks that distance, and she's circling right away. Circling, gaining her space back. See, there you go. Never getting too close to the ropes. That's what you want to see. Big deep breath from Kelsa right there. A strong right overhand though right there from Kelsa. Wickham trying to work to find that outside angle. Return fire on the missed kick from Kilser. Oh, yeah. Good high kick. Nice half kick, yep. Yeah. Strong left hook to the body right there. Kick is caught by Kilter. And that is the end of the first round. For one, it is all Madison Wickham thus far. Yeah. Yeah, she's looking good. Right now, if you're Kilter, you're finding out a lot about yourself. Yeah, you are. I yeah, know. Again, it's going to be her job. Uh, corner's job to set her up down, set her up down. Get her to regain focus and then come out with a new game plan. I would like to see her use her case a little bit more to stop swing and lateral movement because that's really what's causing her issues right now is swing and lateral movement. Agreed. Totally agree. Just in general, as, as you mentioned, there's so many little things watching this fight that you just see, it's like, okay, that's an experience difference. Yeah, and same as the last fight, right? One girl's 2-0, no, one girl's 0-0. Oh, no. Especially like this early on in your career, it makes a huge difference. Let's not say that Kilser isn't gritty and isn't standing her ground. It's just a difference of when it comes to the actual technical X's and O's. She's Wickham just a is step behind. Experience fight. Yeah, she's just a step behind and it's normal, you know. Ooh, that, that left high kick was right yeah, there. Yeah, she was she hesitated it on it for a second. She but she went not. back to the body with it. Let's see if she goes back high in her next offering. But see, that that's kind of one of the things you want to see is she's kind of seeing it. You know, she's not just throwing it. She's kind of trying to calculate where it's at. You have to love seeing it. A lot of times, you know, for people that don't really fight or train or anything, there's so much, like, small calculations that are going on as they're in there. You know, she's not just throwing stuff to throw it. There's, like... Small calculations, small analysis that you're trying to make while you're out there. Certainly. And look for the left high kick coming soon, folks. Yep. Just throwing the right a couple of times. Went to the body and went to the leg with the left. She hits that switch stance and goes. Wiggins looking a little bit tired, though. She has, but, I mean, she's throwing a lot. Yeah, she, she has thrown a lot. Yeah, you're right. She is taking a deep breath. Yeah. It might be a little bit more labored right now, but this is also a point where she needs to find out about herself. Yeah. You know, even when you are in cruise control ahead, hey, the you could have the best technique, you could have the ultimate equalizer of power in the world, but if you get tired, all of that's out the window. Yeah, man, I've seen so many people lose fights like they come out looking great the first round, but then the other person just outlasts them. Sometimes it doesn't all come to technique and stuff. Like, there you go. Oh. Yep, that high kick is what started it all right there. The left high kick, the just like you said. Yep, just like you said. 
Yeah. And Aaron Lechuga is very close in eyeing the action right here. Strong knee to the body with the clinch. And he almost ate one of the shin <laughs> for his efforts. Yeah, he almost did. That was a nice angle. That was super nice. Beautiful knee right there. Now, if you're in the uh, if you're in the blue corner right now for Madison Wickham, comfortably ahead by two rounds right now, but also potentially a little bit tired and labored, what is the advice that you're offering for your fighter? To be honest, I don't think I'd give her that much advice. I'm mostly focused on her getting back, like her heart rate back down. I'm focused on deep breaths, maybe a little advice here or there, but what she's doing is great. It's just she needs to get settled back down and get her heart rate down for the next round. Well said, my friend. Well said. Now, on the flip side, if you're in the red corner over here, if you're the pound-for-pound -pound crew, what are you offering to kill her? I tell her, she's tired. Put the pressure on now. Let's land some big shots to try to get a finish. I try to exploit the fact that she's tired. Yeah, I mean, I, I would stress a sense of urgency by any means necessary. If you got to get a little bit grimy with it, then that, that's what you have to do to try to get a win here. It's a fight. And she does come out strong on the offering right away out of the rip, so I believe that that might have been somewhat of the, the message, though. But Wickham is trading every single shot right back. God, that teep is beautiful. See, you see her corner right now. Tell her to breathe, recompose, breathe. That's what I, I like to see from the corner. final sequence to close this fight out but it definitely wasn't a look of comfort yeah I, I think it's mostly the fact that she's tired but yeah she did give us a, a thousand ice stare a little bit that body kick from Kilter just landed right before that there's that hand kick again I'd go again to it again to it oh there she goes oh and she makes that question mark up action then on the right side. The same thing that we just saw out of the box. Love seeing him go through and try to ultimately fulfill that trap. Yeah, no, that was a great fight. You know? She had to push through and that's what you want, you know. Sometimes you gotta learn from wins, you know. Not everything went correctly, learn from that win. She did a great job, she's got a little bit tired and that's gonna be normal, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If you're... This kills her. I mean, you, you can't walk away from this fight hanging your head. Yeah, was it uh, was it some character building moments throughout it? Certainly. But you stood your ground the entire time, and you were trading shots all the way to the final bell. That is something that you should be encouraged about and carry on into your next fight. Yeah, she did a great job too. Nothing really to hang your head on. Just some. I guess it all comes down to experience at this level. Absolutely, and just in terms of the uh, the technical aspect, it was certainly an advantage in the experience department from Madison Wood. Yeah, I would give her As we have great these scores to be tabulated, to round out the co-main of our sheep under All right. The results from box number 11. With a unanimous decision. Fighting out of the blue corner. Madison. Yeah.